It's hidden behind a fence now, but this statue used to stand in the center of Louisville's Cherokee Triangle. Years after controversial statues were removed from Louisville streets, debate continues over what should happen with them now. Nearly three years after this. There were over 230 sculptures that were damaged and removed across the country. Debate over controversial statues, including two in Louisville, continues. In Cherokee Triangle, this statue of John B. Castleman was removed after former mayor Greg Fisher said it symbolized racism and bigoted ideology. But Thursday, arguments contesting its removal will be heard in Kentucky's Supreme Court. Our claim is that that process was a, an arbitrary and capricious, a failure of due process. Castleman joined the Confederate Army as a teenager but spent most of his life denouncing the Confederacy while working to establish Louisville's park system. Dressed in civilian clothes on horseback, the statue of him now sits in a gated government lot, still covered in bright orange spray paint. If the Kentucky Supreme Court rules against the way the statue was removed, it could be cleaned up and brought back to the roundabout. But I think the vandalism on that occurred because people didn't understand General Castleman. I think if the, um, you know, if the statue were to come back there, that certainly a plaque like that would be very, very helpful. Downtown, a decision on the King Louis XVI statue will take a bit more time. The statue is 17 feet tall and weighs nine tons. Since its removal in the fall of 2020, the statue has been kept in a private storage facility indoors where experts can assess the damage. The statue itself is made of marble, which is not really designed to exist in a Ohio River Valley climate. All around the massive statue, several cracks have formed over time. And on top of that, the statue sustained extensive damage during the 2020 protests, including when the hand was ripped off. From his head to the limestone base, red and black now cover the marble in thick coats of spray paint. Last we assessed, there would, if it was the full restoration and put back on view, it would cost about $212,000. The city says if the statue is ever on display publicly again, it would have to be somewhere indoors. The city is currently seeking feedback from the public over what the community thinks should happen to the King Louis XVI statue. To voice your thoughts, you can find a link to the survey right now on our website, wdrb.com.